that shit up, dog. Now I wanna smoke a door line of coca. Tell me how you feel. Jamoke Antoniano coming to you live and in your living room. I'm going to tell you all how to make leather corduroys today, folks. Something that's real simple and easy, but you don't see every day. You don't see it on the shelves. Nobody really has the means to mass produce this kind of stuff yet, but very fucking rare nonetheless. Okay, let's just get straight to it. You're going to want to hit up your local grocery mart, okay? Pick up about 50 bananas, okay? Um... We typically use 25 on each leg. We're working with male sizes up north, so it could be different for your scenario. But pick up about 50 bananas. You're going to want to unpeel every single one of these bananas, okay? Um, to the point where, you know, there's no banana residue in there. It's just the banana peels and the insides of the banana peels, okay? You're going to want to pick a hot asphalt surface, um, maybe even a freezer to speed up the drying process, um, whatever you prefer. But you're going to want to get these insides nice and dry, okay? Um, after they dry out to almost a powder, um, you're going to want to add your first layer of polyurethane, okay? What this polyurethane is going to do is seep into the cracks and the pores of the organic material and form some kind of unity, okay? And it's going to keep it from corroding as well and rotting. Um, and that will come into play later down the road. Um, but after that polyurethane dries, okay, you're going to want to add a layer of adhesive, okay? You're going to want to add um, a light layer of mesh material hanging off about a quarter inch on each side in order to sew these pieces together and make one co cohesive unit, if you will. Uh, but uh, save time if you can. Um, save money better yet. Uh, and that's basically what we're doing is creating functional fashion, a functional food, you know what I'm saying, um, with virtually no capital.